Hey, it's Q over at Cannoli Joe's. Uh, I'm going to do a quick demo of how to set up a laptop to the projector. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the only difference for some projectors is that sometimes they have more connections than others. Uh, the projector we have here at Cannoli Joe's is kind of an older Dell. Um, got refurbished and it has some pretty basic connections. Um, I don't know if you can even read the letters anymore, they're all worn off. Here we go. This is an S video cable. Or regular, I'm sorry, just a regular video cable like from a uh, VCR. It's a video connection. There's an S video connection you could also have from some older VCRs. And then this is actually an optical um, optical cable, but it's only for audio, so that's not for video. Uh, the main connection we use is what's called a VGA. It's an analog connection uh, found on most uh, laptops. Uh, it's pretty standard. Some of the newer ones now have digital, um, and there's adapters that you can get that will actually connect to this VGA connection. Um, this one also has a VGA out, so you can have it go into a secondary, another monitor on the side. Uh, I already have the projectors plugged in down there. Laptop's plugged in, ready to go. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and turn the projector on. Well, lights light up. And you can see it kind of coming through a little bit. It's starting to warm up, so it's still not very bright. But basically, this is the cable we're going to be using. This is a VGA connection. You can see it's the male counterpart to the female dock on here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. That's in there. I'm going to plug the other one in. <clears throat> to my laptop connection here is also VGA. Um, again, some of the newer laptops will have uh, either a DVI or an HDMI cable. Um, so you might need to get an adapter. You can get those at Radio Shock just about anywhere. So it's pretty much booting up. Whoops, there it goes. And that's it, pretty much. It's already booting up um, the screen from my computer. And I should be able to see both at the same time. No, no, it's not doing it. Just doing the one. I can actually, let me see if I can set the settings on here. So I can just do duplicate. So what I want to do. So now I have the screen up on the projector, but I also have the screen on my laptop. And that's pretty much it. If at any point you need to re uh, check that again, you can always hit the left. I'm sorry, the right mouse button, and it'll bring up a little menu, and you can go to screen resolution or even personalize and it'll kind of get you to that control center but there you go